friends. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm a if you're new here, I'm Sonia. I'm a second year PhD student studying math. So it's Thursday, November 3rd, um, around noon, and I've had like a rough couple of days personally, and I've also been watching the US election results on and off, which is kind of stressful even though I'm not American. So I thought I would try to vlog and I thought ho hopefully vlogging will make me like more fo focused on working. So I have a meeting with my supervisors in like two and a half hours that I'm not ready for at all. But it's not really because I was being lazy. So we just had a meeting two days ago and I worked really hard on it. Uh, I read a lot and had good questions which they were able to answer and I, I think I've really understood the setup of this paper we're going through which has taken like it's taken like a month to read like seven pages which I think is kind of normal in math probably not normal in other disciplines but yeah so we had that meeting two days ago and then tomorrow I have to present in the graduate seminar and our presentations are usually like an hour long so it's not a trivial thing to make a presentation for this it takes a lot of work so yesterday I spent like most of the day when I wasn't looking at the news um, working on my presentation and also doing some TA work that I have to do and then this morning also working on my presentation so now I'm kind of getting anxious about my meeting and I always get nervous that if I don't have anything for the meeting they'll think I haven't done anything and I know I can tell them I was working on this presentation and I'm kind of considering just emailing them and saying can we just meet again on Tuesday and cancel today's meeting but that's what I wish but I probably won't do that maybe we'll just have a short meeting where I say hi like I haven't done my my research work because I've been doing this presentation usually they're pretty nice to me I, I just in my head I get I think of like the worst case so about my presentation our school has a, a graduate student seminar so before it would be in school and you'd be able to write on a chalkboard and basically every week a new student will do a presentation and they can do anything math related that they want like they can present their research they can uh, do an intro to some topic they can uh, they can find a cool theorem to present um, for example one one talk I thought was pretty cool was a fellow uh, PhD student did a talk on proving that 26 is uh, the unique non-integer which is directly between a perfect square um, 25 and a perfect cube 27 so yeah you can do cool theorems like that you can just explain some topic or like whatever you want um, and it's pretty I like it because it just grad students show up which makes it a good place to practice and it's not as scary as when you have to present to profs and postdocs a few weeks ago I presented in our algebra working group seminar which is like mostly profs and postdocs and it's like I found like I tried really hard to prepare and like my I think I did a good job on the prep work but when I got to the talk I got even though it's through zoom like I still get so much stage fright that like by the end I was freaked out and like just wanted it to be over and when it was over like <laughs> I was KO'd for like I don't know the next two hours I was just like I'm just gonna watch TV and not not deal with anything now. It took a lot out of me. But hopefully tomorrow will be nicer because it's just to students. I'll be doing my grad talk on quantum groups. Like a less technical talk and a more concept talk. So I was gonna say so I was gonna say like why is it even called quantum and then explain it has to do with um the relationship between quantum mechanics and classical mechanics. So hope that goes well. I'm still not done um, writing out the talk, but hopefully we'll be done by end of today. And it, it's sometime tomorrow afternoon. I forget exactly when. So tomorrow morning I can practice. Well, vlogging is fun and talking about my day and my frustration stuff actually has helped me calm down. So I think now I'll try to make a latte and then I'll try to work on my talk more. Uh, I think I'll do Pomodoro again for this. I really like Pomodoro because otherwise sometimes I get so focused that I, 
I'll study straight for like two hours or something, but it's too much and then I get burned out and then I don't do anything for like the next few hours. But this way, when I study a little bit, take a break, I can overall go longer. Okay, so coffee time. <laughs> Look at this, not graceful at all. This thing's gonna overflow too. Finally ready to settle down and study. This is kind of what my notes look like. Maybe it looks a little crazy, I don't know. And these are the books I've been using. This is actually a prop for my, the, where I went to undergrad, which is cool. And then I'm using this one. And mostly this one. I think Chari is a really cool mathematician. I look up to her a lot. So I'm going to use the Study Bunny app to do Pomodoro, so if you go like this, I can choose uh, 50 minutes and then break. 10 minutes, okay, so now I can start studying, wait, go back to 50, okay, yay. my first Pomodoro session working on my talk and I have quite a few slides here but I still think I need to put a bit more stuff in it well like now that I think I have to I have one definition that's like not complete anyway I have most of what I need in here but I don't know if I have it in the right order so I have to play around with that after I put everything inside and I find that's one of the hardest things yeah so when you're doing a talk to a non-specialist audience, it's important to not go too much into the technicalities of stuff and focus more on the concepts because that's what people are more interested in. If someone's like not an expert in your area and you're just going into like the details and computations and stuff, like they probably won't follow everything you're doing because it's too fast in a talk and they probably just like don't care about that. They want to know what the idea is and that's something I need to work on. So I'm glad I have this talk to force me to do it. So I have an hour until my meeting and I think I'll, I might do, I'll rest a little bit, do another half hour of studying and then it's time for my meeting, which hopefully will be five minutes, but we'll see. So I just had my meeting and it really was five minutes long, which is great. And the moral of the story is uh, your supervisors are humans. Like you shouldn't be afraid to tell them how you're feeling and if you're not, ready to do something yet like especially if you have a good reason like my reason was preparing a presentation so it's not like I was just slacking off and they understand it takes time to prepare a presentation so yeah they just wish me good luck and we'll meet on Tuesday instead good morning it's the next day and I was feeling some nerves about my talk so I went on a walk to the downtown and I I got some um I got a soy latte from our local coffee shop it's really good. Um, and also, I heard they're, they're filming a Netflix series in downtown, so I went to check it out, but you can't really see anything, so it's kind of disappointing. I'm going to talk is in like six hours, but I, I have it written out, but I'm still not really ready, because <laughs> I, I still get confused trying to explain stuff. Hopefully, I can resolve that. just want to share one of my comfort foods, which is... Just a spoonful of chocolate. So I thought I would procrastinate and try to give myself some confidence by doing my makeup. So if you don't care about this, feel free to skip ahead. I also got these Morphe palettes. And like, I don't have like anywhere to wear them to, but it's pretty fun uh, to use them. I especially like this one since it's a lot of warm colors. I think it's pretty. This is the only shadow brush I have. 
I used to have more, but I don't know where they went. So we'll do with that. I'm watching Red Hat the Academic. I actually really like watching other people's PhD vlogs, which kind of inspired me to do mine. Maybe it's extreme, but like for, just for today, but I think it's cute. I used to put foundation on, but now when like people just see me through a camera and I'm not really going out anywhere, I don't want to like have that extra stuff on my skin. Like I just want to, my skin to be able to breathe, so I leave it like this. I think it looks fine, but I don't know what lipstick to put. I don't know if that matches. Time to stop procrastinating and work on my talk some more. So I finished my talk and it went quite well, so I'm pretty happy about that. And now I'm gonna spend the evening editing and relaxing. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.